mini soldering station launched. Easy to carry, fast charging and ready to use. Built-in 6-axis gyroscope, automatic standby, safe and convenient. The body comes with three buttons for easy control. Main interface, it supports the C080 heating core currently, up to 80W. The device needs to be equipped with a minimum of 9V2A18W, and it supports the fast charger of PDQC protocols. Here we prepare a 96W fast charger. Connect to the Type-C interface on the top of the soldering station. No need to turn on, off, plug and play, long press, or jar button. It shows, click M key, to force heating. Double press M button, to enter the heating mode. Or shake the device, twice to enter the heating mode. The larger number on the left represents the current temperature of the soldering station. And the number on the right represents the set temperature of the station. Press the plus or dash button to set the temperature. The progress bar at the bottom represents the service power of the station. The temperature shortcut channels are on the upper side. Press the M button to switch. Simultaneously press the plus and dash buttons to save the current set temperature to the current shortcut channel. The IN on the right, 12V represents the current power setting category. IN will automatically adjust the input according to adapters with different power. Self-adaptive to the max power. If we change the adapter to the one with 9V in max, IN will automatically change to 9V. Change back to the adapter in 96W. Iron changes back to 12V. Support to set power manually. Adjust the proximity power according to different charging devices. Built-in 6-axis gyroscope. It will enter the standby mode automatically during idle mode. Pick it up to enter the heating status. Settings interface. Long press M to enter the setting interface. The first option is, language. Chinese and English can be set. Press the M button to go back. The second one is up. We can turn it on or off. After turning off, the device will enter mute mode. The third one is, temp unit. We can set, Celsius, or, Fahrenheit. The fourth is, channel temp. We can set the temperature value of M1, M1, M3 shortcut channels. Long press the M button to go back. The fifth one is, set power. The value can be set from 9V2A18W, 9V3A27W, 12V2A24W, 12V3A36W, 15V3A45W, 20V3A60W. We can adjust the proximity power according to different charging devices. The sixth one is, dormancy. First one, idle sleep. After turning it off, the station will not enter the standby mode automatically during still mode. Pay on, level sleep. After turning it on, the station will enter the standby mode automatically when placing it flatly. There won't sleep. Double press M button, under heating mode, to enter standby. Double press M button, again to continue heating. The seventh one is, reset. We can restore all settings of the device. The eighth is, device info. You can see the software version, hardware version and serial number here. Software upgrade. Connect the device to computer with a Type-C cable. Open ISIN software. When a new version is updated in the future, select on the version you need, then click Upgrade to upgrade to the latest version. Above is all the operations of T208 Mini Soldering Station. To learn more about ISIN products and software updates, please follow ISIN YouTube channel ISIN or official website www.ison.com.